Have you seen an x-ray recently? Or have you been to the museum? These are just two ways to get a closer look at bones. But did you know bones can tell you more about a person than you might think? Hi, I'm Donna. I'm a forensic anthropologist, which means I'm an expert in bones. And today I'm going to show you how bones can give us all sorts of surprising clues. The outside of bones are made from dense, strong minerals like calcium, so they can take a long time to decompose. Bones can turn up after being buried for decades, even centuries. They might be dug up on a building site or washed up after a flood. When bones are located, experts like me are called to try and identify them. To do that, we need to take a closer look in the lab. Nine times out of ten, bones that are unexpectedly located by people and reported to the police turn out to be animal bones. But how can we be so sure? This is a hip bone from a wallaby. Next to this model of a human hip bone, we can see the size difference of the socket where the thigh bones connect. And this area here is called the ischial tuberosity, sometimes called the sit bones. The wallabies is flat and angular, whereas the humans is thicker and rounder for support when we sit down. Some human bones are very distinctive, and in the case of the pelvis, we can determine sex of the individual. When we look from the front of the bone, we can see how different these two pelvic bones are. The narrower angled bone is a male pelvis, and the curved wider angle is from a female. Those are just some things we can see with the trained eye. But sometimes to answer more questions about the bones or further investigation, we need some extra tools, like those in front of you, and some handy equations. We use these calipers to precisely measure specific areas of bones, and this osteometric board to measure a long bone's length. We can take those measurements and use them to give us answers, like a person's height. With some simple calculations, we can be very confident this person would have stood between 173 and 180 centimetres tall. These methods have been used for many years, but as humans slowly change, so do our bones. So what's in store for the future of forensics? It might look like this. This is called an anatomage table. It is an interactive screen that can show us real-life scans of the human anatomy, so we can study detailed images of bones and the skeletal system without having to physically handle them. Technology like this means forensics has an exciting future, shedding more light on our bones to reveal even more clues.